I, I think uh, it's weird. I don't know why, but I was always drawn toward the bad guys. Like G.I. Joe, I collected those figures. I mean, I had everything from 1980 up until 1987, every single figure, but my favorites were the bad guys. It was Cobra Commander and Destro and Serpentor and all those guys. But my first, my first villain or bad guy I ever got, and I remember my, my, one of my very first memories, I was four years old, I got a Stretch Armstrong monster. It was Stretch Armstrong, and then he had his nemesis, which I don't even know what his name was. He was this green kind of creature from the Black Lagoon sort of monster. And I remember I opened it up for Christmas, and I screamed and threw it back. And my parents said I was terrified of it, and they had to put it in the closet for like two weeks. And then like two weeks later, I saw it in the closet, and I wanted to play with it, and, and I played with it every single day. I slept with it. Um, and then, you know, and then I'm basically sleeping with that green monster been watching the monsters and Adam's family in between Bugs Bunny cartoons every day. So it was just kind of like, <laughs> I guess at an early age, I was just shaped in that and in, in, in favoring the, the bad guys. And uh, yeah, and, and then when it comes to He-Man, it's the same thing. It was like, you know, I remember when I was little, the first thing I begged for was Skeletor. You know, I didn't want He-Man, I wanted Skeletor. So I don't know why that is. I guess it's got a bad seed in me somewhere that just goes, roots for the bad guy every time. So.